Good morning. Welcome to Monday's edition of Making It Work. And let's get right into it because I'm going through all my stuff today. I'm just going to pick up randomly. First of all, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hill Tinted Brow Gel in Brunette. That is this. It's got the wonderfully soft bristles on the, the spoolie. And it looks just fine. A little, little bit red, but it's okay. Okay, and then I'm using my Better Than Sex mascara this week. Deluxe sample size. And I would definitely buy the full size of this one. I love it. My Ulta Eye Primer. My uh, Jordana Lip Liner in Rock and Rose. I wore today for for lipstick. I wore my uh, melted matte in peony. This is going to be a week for the cushion uh, lipstick. And then for my eyes and everything else today, I used the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies palette by BH Cosmetics. I yesterday was the first time I'd ever worn this palette, and I love it. Okay, today I wore this color for my base, this color for my transition, and the gold for my um, eyelids. A little bit darker transition than I'm used to, but I think it's gorgeous. And then I used this as my blush, and this as my highlight this week. And I will be using these two all week, so I probably won't even mention these again until Friday. So that is my Monday, and I hope you're having a good Monday. Today started out okay. Um, I started my skincare routine this morning, and it went pretty, pretty smooth. So I will talk to you in the morning. Bye-bye. Good morning, and welcome to Tuesday Morning and Making It Work. This today I wore on my eyes my Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by BH Cosmetics. I love this so far. Besides loving the the cover and the name of it, I just think it's cool. Okay, so today I wore this as my base, this as my um, transition, and I wore this color as my eyelid color. And it's kind of like a a brown it brown with burnished gold in it it's gorgeous i love this color and here is my eyes i really like the the looks that i've gotten so far i mean i've i've only gotten um, a couple of different looks out of this but i love them okay and then you know i wore the the blush and the highlighter and on my lips today I wore um, the Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint in 05 Stripped Down. And it's about the same thing as the uh, Melted. You know, it's got the same kind of applicator. And this is them together and I do believe I don't think that this is a full size I'm not sure though it might be it is does it even say on here five milliliters and this one is this is 6.4 milliliters so this must be um, a deluxe sample size and this is the regular size on this one and this was the only color that I really was attracted to. And it's more of a brownie mauve color. It, um, it's pretty. I like it. It's just I don't really like brown very well. But, but I do like it. I mean, I like it. <laughs> That's all I can say. You guys have a great day. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Good morning Bye -bye. and welcome to Wednesday. 
and today is um, hump day. I'm always happy for this day. It means I'm half done with my week. <laughs> okay, so today on my lips, I wanted to show you this. Um, I am wearing the new uh, Revlon lipstick. I don't know what it's called, I guess. But it's, it's in color 710 uh, HD Desert. So it must be HD lipstick. And it's really pretty. And you can tell it's a little brown, but um, if they had the whole collection, I'm not sure I got this at Walgreens, but there was a couple colors that were gone already out of, uh, that were right before this one, that I think would probably have better suited me. But I wanted to get one. They were on sale for $5 at Walgreens, and they're normally $6.99. So... Um, I just ran in to get a prescription and I saw these and so I picked this up and I did get rid of a lipstick an old um, Maybelline balm is it balm the balm um, that was a little bit too orangey for me and I just never wear them so I got rid of that in in uh, lieu of this one okay and for my eyes today I'm gonna do like a Wednesday uh, matte but I didn't this doesn't have a lot of mattes in it this palette so um, I went with a very this color is a very light shimmer um, it's not bam shimmer okay anyway I wore this same as every day for my base and then this one for my uh, transition and then I wore this color for on my eyelids today and it does have a very light shimmer to it just really um, you can see flecks of gold in it but it's very light so I think that counts for my mat this week because just because <laughs> anyway there's my eyes they're pretty matching they're right next to each other in the colors so they're they're matching pretty much my transition in my eyelid but I really like the color I think it's very pretty and then you know as usual I'm wearing my blush and my highlighter from this palette also so anyway I will see you tomorrow Good morning. morning and Bye -bye. welcome to Thursday we made it through hump day <laughs> anyway today I am wearing of course my pride and prejudice and zombies palette by BH cosmetics today I wore this is my base this is my transition as usual and I wore this one as my eye color today I used a very light hand because it is such a pretty dark um, dark brownish dark brown with lots of silver um, specks in it and I used a really light hand and it came out really pretty you know, I just, I don't want to wear anything too dark to work because I'm the only one that wears makeup. I am the only one that wears makeup at work. Well, one of the other girls goes out at night and wears eyeliner and still has it on her eyes the next morning. <laughs> but otherwise, you know, everybody's in my age, give or take 20 years, you know. Well, I think there's one lady a year older than me, or all the same age as me, maybe. But um, nobody else wears makeup but me. And I like it. I like, I think it enhances, you know, it doesn't make me look so plain Jane. And, and I don't know. Um, but I like makeup. Uh, you guys know that. I love makeup. So, anyway, for my lips today, I wore the Infallible paints by L'Oreal in the color it's 312 nude star and this is what it looks like and I don't know why I keep thinking that this is one of those cushion but it's not it's up like this goes on very good um, very easily a lot easier than some of the the liquid lipsticks that I have you know I wouldn't really necessarily say this is liquid it, it well it is but it's 
a thicker liquid. Um, and it goes on really well. I really like it. I like the color. This is the first time I've worn it. So, um, this is a first for like three of my lipsticks this week. So, anyway. Um, join me tomorrow for Friday. Good Bye -bye. morning and welcome to Friday. Thank God it's Friday, right? Anyway, um, let's get into the makeup because, you know, Friday's a little longer. So, I'm just going to pick up randomly as I always do. Uh, the first thing I wore was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Brunette. Like I've told you before, this is a very luxurious feeling wand. It, I mean, the spoolie. It's just soft and smooth and um, it looks okay on me. It, as the week went on, I, you know, I've said this before, it's got too much red in it. It should be more brown, not red. Um, I think they goofed on this, to tell you the truth. Uh, but I will continue wearing it because I don't think it looks terrible on me. It's not too dark, but it is pretty red. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips, Rock and Rose. I wear this every week. I'm wearing it down pretty well. Um, it matches my lips almost exactly. So, you know, I've got pretty pigmented lips. Next thing I'm picking up is my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And this is the deluxe sample size. And I would most definitely buy a full size of this. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I really like it. It feels good on the lashes when you're when you're um, using it. it. It doesn't get everywhere. It, I really like it a lot. Um, Ulta Eye Primer. You guys know I absolutely love this stuff. And I'm still working on that. Uh, for my eyes this week, I use the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies uh, palette by BH Cosmetics. This is, I've had this for months, but I um, am using it for the first time this week. I used it for the first time, I think it was Saturday or Sunday when Mom and I went out to lunch, I used it. But, um, or for my, no, for my Get Ready With Me video this week, which is actually going to show it tonight. Uh, so I've been using this color for my base all week, this color for my transition, which is usually or a little bit darker transition than I usually wear, but I really like it. And today I used this color, which is a purple, and I used a, a light, light enough hand. Um, it's very pretty. It's really pretty. I really like it a lot. And then uh, for my cheek, I used the blush, which is this one here, and the highlighter, which is this one here, all week. And they're just fine. They're not, um, nothing shows up great on me when I don't wear um, foundation. Anyway, it just, going on my bare skin, it just doesn't, you know, even though my skin is moisturized, it doesn't show up like it does when you're wearing foundation. But um, they're very pretty. I like them both. And this eyeshadow is the bomb. I'll show you. It's very pretty. Okay. So anyway, um, this palette is it's pigmented. It's not overly powdery. You know, it, BH Cosmetic is such an affordable mid-range. It's above a high, above a drugstore, but below a high end. It's kind of mid-range. Um, but they are so affordable. And they've got really good palettes. I like BH Cosmetics. Okay, lastly for my lips today, I used the Mega Cushion um, from Wet n Wild. I'm trying to see a color here. Melon, melon like it, something. Anyway, but I I'm not crazy about the color. It's too orange for me. Um, I will be passing this one along. 
I'm wearing it. And I used a pretty light hand with it. I didn't go dark. But this, it squeezes up so hard compared to the melted. It You really, really have to squeeze to get the product up. And I'm not crazy about their cushion. I like um, melted cushions. I'm not crazy about this one. So, anyway, if you like orange, get the melon like it. <laughs> anyway, this week was kind of a cushiony week. <laughs> I used a lot of, this one here isn't a cushion, this is a doe foot. But these three are cushions. And I really like the color jolt. And I love the Melteds. I would like more colors in the Melteds, actually. I love it. I've used uh, showing me like down to here on this one. So, and um, I also used my HD um, color by Revlon, and I love it. I, I would definitely get more colors in this, too. I love this. So, anyway, that is my makeup of the week. And I will see you guys Monday. Oh, by the way, um, I've been asking for more hours because I get 37 and a half hours every week. I work seven and a half hour days plus a half hour lunch every day. So on Mondays, um, I usually have a lot to do on Mondays, you know, to get my salad bar ready from the weekend because they don't use it on the weekend. So I want everything fresh to go on Mondays. And I usually have um, sandwiches for a coffee shop to make. Plus I you know, if there's a ball game on Monday, I have to make sandwiches for the players if it's an away game, which this Monday is. So every Monday, I'm going to start going in at 6 o'clock in the morning, which uh, that means 4.30, 4 or 4.30 I have to get up, which uh, I'm not looking forward to. But, you know, it's two extra hours a week for me, so that'll give me 39 and a half hours. It's going to help a lot. So... That, that'll be 10-hour days on Monday on my feet. So that's going to be a little rough. But it'll work. I'll talk to you guys Monday. Bye-bye.